lot of times I forget to go ahead and, and hit the uh, hit the uh, um, start recording, please. Uh, thanks. So anyway, welcome. Th this is going to be kind of a, a tie together, um, and I'll explain how the final will work too in this. Um, because I said your final exams were 10% of your grade. Well, we're not going to have one, but what we're going to do is you were going to turn in your course eval. And I'll explain that in the announcement and all that kind of stuff, uh, which is fine. Um, because I had some technical difficulties and stuff like that with my uh, uh, computer and, and, and a few other things, um, I am combining your last assignment, your lesson 13, which is where we were anyway. We were going to be talking about air pressure and stuff with my uh, uh, backyard physics. This is the lab portion of um, this is a one hour lab. Some of you might might need a one hour lab and you don't want to come into you know class to take it or you don't want to take a three hour environmental science lab, which I think would be fine. You know, any of the labs that we have here would be good. But um, if you if you still want to just take it at home and, and uh, call it a day, that type of thing, then then that's good. But what we're uh, so what I'm doing is I'm combining um, so this lesson that you're going to get is the pre, the lesson 13 is the pre-lab and lesson 14 is the actual lab, okay, that we're going to, that I'm going to have you do. And these recordings were done la just last week and some of them were even done, the, the lab portion was even done today. So it's, it's, it's up to date because um, I've never wanted to be one to um, assign you um uh, to, to just roll over courses with old crap on it um, and, you know, just kind of, because I found when I did that, I wound up doing just as much work as if I did the damn thing myself or just started over because there were so many questions and confusion and I had no frame of reference for where these questions were coming from. So I'd have to go back and relook at my own self, which was horrible anyway. And, and it was just, it was just a freaking nightmare. So, um, so what we're going to do is, um, and and I'll send this in the announcement too. Is um, I will be, uh, I will finish this video today, and I will make uh, lesson thirteen available um, today, and it will be due. Um, I have it here as May third. All right, so that gives you some time to do it. Um, it, it uh, May third will actually be next Tuesday, a week from Tuesday. So you have eight days to get it done. And I think you'll enjoy the assignment. Um, and I work out the problems for you pretty, pretty, pretty good too. So, so that'll be good. And then I want you to finish the lab part um, by May 10th. Now I know some of you are going to go and say, hey, wait a minute, you said you didn't have a final on the 60 million of syllabuses. Whatever. Um, don't worry about it. The, the, the actual exam number two is going to be you're going to build a boomerang. Basically, what we're doing is we're making these little boomerangs here and doing the science behind them, right? And and figuring that out. So have fun with it. Um, and uh, you will. Um, so that's it. Okay. So so that'll be due May 10th, and then your final. Guess what your final is going to be? Your final is actually probably going to be ahead of the other ones. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an exam on there that's going to be true or false, or yes or no. It's going to be two questions, yes, no. And it doesn't matter. Um, um, if, if you answer no between now and um, the, uh, uh, because the 10th of May or something like that, then you'll have to take a final. If you answer yes, okay, and... Um, I can, ch I think I have a way to find out who has filled out a survey. I just can't figure out what I, I, and I don't want to know exactly what you said, right? But what I want you to do for your final exam, and this is in good faith, I want you to, um, and, and then I can give you all hundred percent for your final exam is I want you to fill out the course eval for this, for this course. You will be getting an email about that. And um, I will, I am going to uh, embed that web page that you'll go to inside. It'll say final exam and you'll have, and that'll be your question. He said, 
have you done this? You know, click here, if you, yes or no, and you can you can do it, and then you can click yes with a clear conscience and be done, or you can or you can not do it and click yes, and there may or may not be a way I can find out, but that's going to be your final. All right, you're going to do the course evaluation because too many times with these um, online classes, the we may get seven or eight evaluations where of uh, three of them say, well, this is the worst experience of my life. This guy's a, a complete bozo. And five of them will say, this is great. You know, I wish more online classes were like this. All right. So that's where we are. There's the intro. So let's review the bidding um, while I have your attention while it's live. Um, I will post the homework probably today. Okay. Um, that'll be lesson 13. That'll be due May 3rd. Okay, um, I will also post the uh, exam two, which is actually a lab that goes with this homework because, you know, it'll give you a lab experience. That'll be fun. So you do a lab experience. That'll be due May 10th. Your final exam, because the course evals have to be done like before finals week or something like that, before like May 6th, your final exam once I get that email, I will send that to you in an announcement and say, hey, final exam is on Blackboard. What's the final exam? You fill out the course evaluation and you and you answer the question. You'll go to Blackboard and say, final exam. There'll be one question. Did you or did you not? <laughs> Two, you know, there'll be a multiple choice where there will be um, three choices. Yes, no. I forgot the question or something stupid because I got to put three slots there. Hopefully all will be yes. And if you say no, at least hey, you took the final exam. There's no right answer. All right. So basically I'm, I'm telling you, everyone's going to get a 10% on the final exam, but I really, really was in the spirit of, in the spirit that it's intended, you know, I want you to do the course eval so bad. I'm going to give you, I'm sacrificing 10% of your grade on the altar of giving you 10% so that you'll do it. Okay? All right. Sounds good. Out here, that's that's all I have right now. So enjoy this assignment. Not some of the things are worded funny. Um, and uh, so let's get started.